Today, I'm going over three different Oculus Quest 2 head straps. Check it out. What's up guys, I'm Tyler, and if you're looking for streaming and gaming tips and tricks, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. So recently I bought an Oculus Quest 2 and I gotta say I am in love with it so far. However, it comes with this not so great stock strap that I looked to Amazon to find three different headsets for me to try out and review them for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the overall build of the headsets and then I'm gonna get into the comfort of it. First up is the Altair head strap. As you can see here, the back cushion is covered in cloth, which is okay, could have been thicker, but cloth is gonna absorb sweat during some intense gaming. They also missed quite a few little minor details as you can see here and at the top of the head strap as well. So the main reason I got this head strap was because you can add an external battery to the back of it, which is awesome to increasing your gameplay on Oculus for multiple hours. Up next, we have a more simple design, the Kigdis Elite Strap. The back cushion on the Kigdis seems to be a little more plump than the Altair, and it seems to be cloth as well, which again is also going to be absorbing some sweat when doing activities. And then finally, the not so simple design, Bobo VR. Now my favorite thing about the Bobo VR is that the back cushion has leather around it, which is easier to clean easier to wipe off. It also had plenty of cushion to support and it has cushion in the front as well. This head strap sits differently on your head, which I'm gonna go over here shortly. Now looking at comfort during gameplay, first we're going back to the Altair. Something this one's doing that the other two aren't is the gear, the crank is on the side, not directly in the center. Uh, I noticed it seemed to favor the right side a little more when tightening. Stayed on pretty well, but the biggest thing I noticed with this is that it was constantly touching the top of my ear. You can see my ear is actually red there. The weird thing is when you put the battery in, it actually balances the front part of the Oculus. It makes it much easier. It doesn't feel so front heavy when playing. Uh, looking left and right, everything stayed pretty stable though once it was properly tightened. And uh, yeah, just overall not too bad. Just again, that ear piece on the right was bothering me. Next up, we have the kick disc again. Uh, again, tightening it was a little simpler than the Altair. It tightened in the dead center. I didn't feel like it favored any sides. It felt very secure. Of the three that I tested in this video, I would say that the kick disc felt the most secure to my face of the three. However, in this next clip, you'll notice it jumps gears though sometimes. You'll see it pop back um, in three, two, one. This kind of made me question the quality of the build and if eventually things might loosen up inside whatever gears are going on. But again, when this one was on me and it was secure and ready to go, it felt the most secure, like it wasn't gonna leave my head at all. And finally, the Bobo VR2. This one is a halo strap where all the pressure is really on top of your head and not around your eyes, which is great for long time game playing, long term sessions. Uh, and comfort overall. And what I love most about it is how easy it is to take it on and off. I don't, once I have it set to the right tightness to my head, I don't have to undo it to take it off. I just pull up and out. All three of these head straps have their benefits. Um, the Altair is great if you wanna have that battery on the back, if you already have a battery pack ready to go to increase your Oculus Quest 2 gameplay, then the Altair might be the one to go for. However, just didn't care for how it was hitting my ears. Not that my ears are that big or anything. So that was the one con for it, but overall not too bad with the Altair. And then there's the Kigdis. Uh, the kick disc felt the most secure on my face while playing. So if I had to be like, hey, one hour tournament, I need my best gameplay possible, I'm probably gonna throw the kick disc strap on. Um, however, I just didn't like how it was jumping those gears as you saw on that clip. Just made me lose a little faith in the build of it. And then in my opinion, my overall favorite was the Bobo VR M2. Um, again, I love that there was the leather on the inside, so this way I could clean it easily after playing some intense Beat Saber. Um, I also love that it was the most comfortable. If I'm doing longer game sessions, it's gonna be the less wear on me. I can only last about an hour or two with those other straps on. This one, I have yet to be like, I'm uncomfortable and I need to take it off. So as far as overall comfort, easiness to clean, and easy 
how easy it is to take it on and off of the top of your head. The Bobo VR M2 is a win. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're looking for more streaming and gaming tips and tricks, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, guys, peace.